Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about Neil by Lynn Madsen. Neil is the first book in a YA duology. I don't know if there is a plan to release more books at some point. I could imagine that, but for now it is a duology and the next book is going to be released next year sometime, I believe. I classified this as dystopian when I talked about it in halls or something, but after reading it I would more classify it as YA science fiction just in general and mystery maybe. If you're looking for like a dystopian read I wouldn't necessarily say that Neil is the book for you. Nonetheless, this book was amazing. It is about an island on which you get teleported and basically if you're a teenager between the age of 13 and 19 you have a good chance of getting teleported there. So on the island there are only people in that age range and no like children or adults. Once you get teleported to that island you have one year to escape it and if you do not escape it then you die. And that is basically all I can and will say about the plot. I guess it's a quite easy story and the whole book just revolves around the life on that island and trying to escape it. In this book we actually get two points of views. The first one is Charlie, a girl who is on the parking lot of Target when she gets teleported to the island. And the second point of view is a boy named Ted, I believe. That is how I would say his name. And he has been living on that island for quite a long time and he already knows what's up. As we go along the story, they basically just switch from point of view to point of view uh, with every chapter. And that is something that I really, really love. Normally, I'm a bit skeptical about different point of views, but I think that, first of all, you could definitely tell when uh, Charlie was speaking and when Ted was speaking. And you always had the day they are on the island uh, under the chapter title so that you could always see how much time was in between different chapters. Sometimes there were some quite huge skips in time but I really think that it wasn't a bad thing because it just really cut out some unnecessary and basically repetitive parts. Through the different point of views you have this feeling of getting pushed right into the story. You're a ride right on the island with Ted. But on the other hand, knowing nothing about it, because you're also there with Charlie, who just lands on the island and is stranded there for quite a long time, all on her own. And it's just really interesting because you know right away what's up with that island and that you have like this year to uh, find a way out. But uh, it's still that there is not too much that they already explained to you. And I thought that it was just... It was really, really clever to have one person who already knows all about it and has, like, his connection to the island. And then, like, another, like, innocent <laughs> girl on this island. One of the things that I feel like are most important to mention is that there is insta-love. We have these two points of views and of course they meet each other at some point and there's just a whole community on that island and Charlie just gets involved with them because it's basically the only way to survive. It, it I mean, it's not a spoiler if I say there is insta-love because that is just, I mean, that is what we expect from a YA novel, don't we? Personally, it didn't bother me at all. I didn't think that it was overdone. It was just there. And I felt like this island was just a really, like, untypical situation. And I don't know how I would react. Maybe I would be the same. I cannot really say that because it's just such an extreme situation. But all in all, the romance is just really involved in the story. The romance is a big part of it. For example, if you didn't like Shadow Me for the romance that was in the story. You might not like this all too much. I think it's not that heavy as in Shadow Me, where you feel like you want to read a dystopian novel and then you get just a whole romance novel. But it is definitely a big part of the story. It has to do with some of the plot twists. So 
if you are not interested in that or you feel like you don't want to read something where it's just a big part of that, you might not want to read it. I really want to recommend this book to a lot of people because I think it's amazing, but I am someone who never has a problem with romance. I love romance. Romance is something that is important to me. I just felt like reading it that there might be people who wouldn't really enjoy it. And basically that is already all that I want to tell you about this book. I really enjoyed it. I think that it is a great concept. I love the idea. I love the community on the island and it was just great to read not only about the way that they try to escape this island but the way that they live in the community and that they just uh, work together to escape and I think it was not only a story about escaping and about the romance but a story about friendship and yeah I really enjoyed this book as a whole and I cannot wait to read the second book. I hope that we don't have to wait too long for this and I would be really really happy if any of you decides to pick it up um, because of this review. So thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you soon.